Hello, thank you for joining me here today. I appreciate you watching our videos and all our new subscribers. I have been asked by a number of people to uh, create these videos and they are something a little bit different and we're going to be talking about dowsing. Now dowsing, as many of you know, I'm sure, have been used for oh, centuries and it's still in use today with electricians and plumbers etc water diviners finding the water on the fields I do know people that do that today very successfully now the art of actually finding answers from your pendulum um, it is just that it, it is an art it is a technique and there are certain ways to hold the pendulum there are certain states to be in there are ways to find the correct answer and uh, I can actually guide you on um, why it doesn't work and for me knowing why something does not work is vitally important <laughs> to understanding why it does and I do spend a lot of time on why things do not work because there's a lot of people that say well it doesn't work for me it doesn't work for me well I can actually show you why it doesn't work for you so some of this content is going to actually be as paid content on our website we have not done paid content before but with all the many many years 30 40 years of experience that i've got in here and in here <laughs> some of it is actually going to be out there as some paid content but i am going to share with you some of the basic information here totally free of charge on our youtube channel if you would like more then of course you're welcome to pursue that further so initially i'm going to be talking about a, a pendulum, a standard pendulum, which is weighted, somewhat weighted at the end, although it doesn't, well, it doesn't have to be weighted, weighted, but it needs to have a certain weight to it. And a bit of a, a string or, or a cord of some description. This is a, a chain that you can probably see. And this one actually has the, the chakra stones on it. A little bit later on, I'm going to be talking about the dowsing rods, uh, perhaps some of the different types of rods and showing you how to hold the rods, uh, how they move, how to get questions answered from them. And both can work in exactly the same way, but you need to know how, of course. I was taught how to douse, oh, maybe a good 20, 25 years ago. And uh, I pick it up and put it down, and you know, it's just one of those things. This particular uh, one here, this Shiva crystal that I have, I find it's absolutely amazing. It is a beautiful, beautiful pendulum and that is by far my favorite at the moment. So the first thing I'd like to mention to you is how to hold the pendulum because that is vitally important. If you are not holding it correctly, then you have no chance of getting the answers that you, you want answered. And the answers are not always what you want to hear and that's something that you need to be aware of as well so to hold the pendulum I need to point you to these digits here so in my training and that is the only place I can speak from so if it contradicts what you've heard elsewhere then I apologize for that this is my knowledge my world my training this is all I know the thumb is neutral energy each finger has a positive, negative, positive, negative charge associated with it from our own energy body. And to use the dowsing pendulum, you need to be in a neutral state. You need to be able to switch your mind off and be in that, that blank what if state of mind, which is easier said than done. And again, I can show you ways to do that uh, a little later on but for now this is just very very basic so to start off with that blank state so knowing this is neutral this is positive this is negative you would need to hold the pendulum in that neutral state so neutral okay so positive negative neutral so that makes neutral so that's a good start now what I personally prefer to do, uh, I'm very skeptical, very skeptical self. I like to rest my elbow on something. Now usually I will rest it on a table, I can rest it on my, my leg, I've got my desk beneath me, 
of course, that I'll rest it on, but you can't see it. So I'm going to be holding the pendulum up, resting on my elbow while I'm showing you what's going on. So they are two important things. So how to hold it? Keep your elbow rested, because if it's not, it's going to move all over the place and the pendulum will move because you are moving. And uh, that's something I've always been mind mindful of with all the years I've been doing it. Am I moving? Is it my energy? Am I shaking? Or is it actually the pendulum moving? And there is a way to know that it is the pendulum. And one of those ways is that it will not go in a perfect circle. It will more go somewhat, I say elliptical, but more oval, I should say, because elliptical goes around like that, but more oval shaped from my experience with what I'm doing. So you hold your pendulum in the neutral state. You rest your arm, rest your elbow on something. So I'm actually going to lift mine up because um, my table is just too low down to show this. So and what you need to ask, what you need to understand is your positive and negative response, your yes and no answer that is personal to you. And some people say that this can change each time depending on your energy. My way is that when your pendulum, if it's something that you always use, then it will remember your yes and no answer. If you change pendulums, then by all means ask that new pendulum to show you your yes and no, your positive negative answer. And that is simply all you have to say. You can speak in your mind because this is all about intention. So intention is key to everything, but it's particularly key to using the pendulum. So you hold your pendulum, and forgive it wobbling because I am resting my, my arm on my hand. And you say to the pendulum, please show me my positive response, or please show me a yes response. And you can see that my pendulum is instantly going round. Mine's going clockwise. And that's the way I've always known my yes to be, my positive response to be. Yours may go differently. Yours may go side to side. And yes, I'm doing that purposefully. Yours may go anti-clockwise. Yours might go backwards and forwards. And just again, be in that what if state, just show me, show me what it is and let the pendulum show you. It may not always move drastically. It may not always move a lot and do big, big circles, but uh, it, it should move after time. And if you are finding that you're struggling seeing the movement, I would suggest that you go to somewhere where you can see the shadow of the pendulum and have it on uh, a clear or a pale background, white or cream or something like that. Because they, you can often see the movement of the shadow of the pendulum and notice how that is moving. And that may give you confidence because in the beginning you can be a little bit anxious about, well, is it moving? Am I doing it? What's happening? I can't see it moving. And you start to get yourself tensed up. And the pendulum will feel that and it will start to get tensed up and it will just move in tiny, tiny, tiny little circles that you can barely, barely even notice. And sometimes, I have seen this happen, sometimes the pendulum will just shudder. It will just shudder like this. And if yours happened, just keep hold of it and keep hold of it and keep hold of it. It is calibrating. It's calibrating with your energy. If after a period of time it's still shuddering, it's still shaking, then try another pendulum. So let's go for your, your positive reply. And you always, always be polite with your pendulum, just as if you would always be polite with yourself. So please show me my positive yes response. And you say, thank you, please stop. And then you want to do the same for your negative no response. Please show me my negative no response. So pendulum, please show me my negative no response. It knows I'm talking to it now. 
And again, yes, it is shaking because I'm resting my elbow on my hand. So my negative no goes around anti-clockwise. The energy shifting. And then of course you have a maybe ask again, I don't know scenario. So for me, you can ask what that is. So we can say, you know, can you show me my um, I don't know, ask again response. Our mind is going from side to side. Okay, so we have three actions here. So we have the positive yes, we have the negative no, and we have the maybe ask again, I need more information. So that's what that means. And you never ask it for that, that's just how the pendulum will behave. After each time of asking it something, I would encourage you to say, thank you, please stop. And as you give that command stop, it will stop. So I will just show you. So pendulum, please show me. My positive is already doing it. <laughs> I read my mind. And uh, I can actually say to it, it said, if, if your pendulum is not swinging very, very uh, far, I can say, please show me clearer. I cannot see how you're moving. Please swing clearer so I can very, very clearly see you. I need bigger, bigger circles pendulum. And you see that? It has gone into much, much bigger circles. Thank you. Now please go into smaller circles. Now please stop. And it has stopped. I would ask you all to give that a go. And uh, before you do, I would just like to say to you that there are various types of pendulums you can use. Oh my, when I was a child, my, my sisters and my mother used to use this, this technique um, on all the girls. And it was simply um, winding uh, some cotton around your finger, which you can do. You can do with a pendulum as long as you are holding it like this. And we have a needle and thread. And that makes an excellent pendulum, actually. You've got a perfect point at the end. And uh, you should clearly be able to see that moving because it's very fine and it's very pointed. So you don't need to spend money on expensive pendulums. Also, another way of doing it is with a, with a ring. Any ring. Um, yeah, again, just holding it in the correct way and you can ask it questions. This may be a little bit more difficult to, to notice at times because it doesn't have that point on the end and that's where you may need to use the shadow to find out what's going on. And another form of pendulum, you can use a key just on a piece of string. It doesn't need to be anything fancy whatsoever. Whatsoever. And just one final one that I found in one of my drawers here. The kitchen drawer It's great for things. And I just found this uh, little spring here, which again, as long as it can be attached to a piece of string, a piece of cotton or thread or something like that, you can use it as a pendulum. I hope that's been of help to you. And please do like, share and subscribe to my videos and watch out for further pendulum videos. I'll be bringing the rods to you. And again, on our website, I will be bringing various doubting charts, how to ask questions, how to get the right questions, how to be in that neutral mindset, which is vitally important, and setting your intention. So there are so many aspects to dowsing that, um, yeah, I just like to bring all of these to you. So thank you again very much and I look forward to speaking to you again real soon. Bye for now.